Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories and trends and innovations from the leaders in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, and the networks within. Coming to you live from beautiful Times Square at DCD Connect, New York 2024. And I am here with my new best friend, Mr. Daniel Wilhoit, aka D Dub. D Dub, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Dean. I mean, what a wonderful day to be in Times Square, New York. A uh, great place to be, lots of activity, lots to showcase around here and talk about technology. Absolutely. And so D-Dub is the Senior Director of Global Accounts and Business Development at Legrand. Legrand is a leader in digital infrastructure, reimagining data, power, and control. So D-Dub, tell us a little bit about Legrand. So Legrand, I work for the Legrand Data Power Control Division, but overall, uh, we're a global manufacturer of infrastructure solutions for the data center market, commercial office environment, uh, lots of different vertical markets. But the focus today within the division that we're talking about is uh, data power control. Mm -hmm. And with that, we manufacture busway distribution with Starline. We have uh, in-cabinet PDU, ServerTech, and Raritan. We do manufacture cabinets as well, containment, and along with that, we have uh, fiber optic and copper connectivity, mm -hmm. as well as physical support. And lastly, we have the network of uh, uh, transceivers that connect everything together. So very interesting and very diverse uh, portfolio that Legrand has to offer. Yeah, I, lo I love this. Um, and I love that you're the first interview of the day because... Um, Kind of the unsung heroes, I think, of of kind of this next gen boon in in technology, AI. We're obviously going to talk a lot about AI today and machine learning and things like that. It's kind of the connectivity, how it all connects together, and it's not just about keeping servers cool and making sure you've got the space and the power, but also the connections that make it all work. So, with that in mind, how do you see the integration of AI impacting the design requirements of the modern data center? Great question, Dean. So you. A, as you know, if you look around here, the two main focuses that we talk about with data center integration, especially implementing AI, is power and cooling. Mm -hmm. Very critical factors because the KW per rack and the heat that the GPUs and the chips have put off, you've mm -hmm. got to cool that down. Yeah. Uh, the other third element that people don't really quite pay attention to is a very important fiber infrastructure to make sure those zeros and ones pass down the stream and mm -hmm. are go through the infrastructure and you know concisely with less bid error rate and so forth so that's the thing i want to you know that we focus on uh from a structured caving perspective in addition to power and cooling is ensuring that the customers have a very good fiber infrastructure in place excellent and so within that context um, of deploying ai clusters within the data center how important will optimizing that fiber cabling infrastructure be so, you know, with, with that said, I'm not sure if uh, there's been a lot of discussion about very small form factor technology. I'm not, not sure if our customers are aware of that, but there's been a lot of buzzword about sure. that. Um, so a, as an example, a very small form factor connector, one is made, is called the MDC connector, made by US Connect. DW brought props. I brought props. <laughs> Amazing. Not, right? <laughs> it's all good. Uh, the other manufacturer that makes a very small form factor is Senco. We, met, we use both of those connectors to develop our Acclaim fiber solution. And with our Acclaim fiber solution that coincides with AI implementation is developing a high performance, low latency, latency fiber solution that's gonna last you for years and years. Mm -hmm. So what we've done in developing that solution is we took that very small form factor technology, we created our own eight fiber Acclaim connector and then we also developed a, a conversion adapter panel. So what these do is your fiber backbone, these are plugged in, so this gets rid of a cassette in a traditional fiber-based right. solution, which reduces the, uh, the inventory, you don't have to worry about polarity, method A, B, or C polarity, and it simplifies the, the connectivity, simplifies the installation, and it, it causes for much faster deployment. So there's got to be a, a, a portability aspect to this too, right? I mean, it makes it easier to get in and get out and, and move things around as needed. Absolutely. The is so non-complex, right? If that's such a word. Can, <laughs> not, I, can not I use that word? TM. It's, it's not complex. So <laughs> we've reduced the whole complexity of the installation. We've reduced the number of part numbers. 
So, and the time to market. I mean, you don't have to worry about what type of method A, B, or C you have in, from, from a polarity perspective. You can plug and play. And a lot of, some of the customers that we have one business, it's for that exact same reason. Quick uh, ease of installation, uh, quick deployment, up and running fast, and a very good performing fiber optic system. D-Dub, it's been a pleasure, man. Thank you very awesome. much for joining me today on JSA TV. Thank and to us. our viewers, stay curious, stay connected, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.